Iran breaking news today. Israel considers its reaction to the strike by Iran. The Middle East is experiencing mourning. According to CNN, here is the information you need to know. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said that following Iran's massive attack on Israel over the weekend, the U.S. will retaliate by imposing more sanctions on Tehran. Israel and its allies managed to intercept the vast majority of the 300 ballistic missiles, with the vast majority of them likely launched from inside Iran's territory. Iran claimed responsibility for the incident, saying it was a response to an Israeli strike on its Syrian diplomatic post. Biden administration officials, according to U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, will continue disrupting the Iranian regime's harmful and disruptive actions through the use of sanctions. What follows is an update on the situation in the area. After their fifth meeting, Israel's war cabinet still hasn't decided how to respond to Iran's onslaught. Both diplomatic and military options are being considered. A number of U.S. officials told CNN that they believe Israel's response will be moderate. Israeli friends and regional authorities have urged moderation. Iraq maintains its innocence. Iraqi Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sadani denied to CNN that Iraq was the launch pad for some of Iran's weekend strikes, despite Israel's claims to the contrary. According to a CNN source, Iranian Foreign Minister Hossein Amir Abdelayan and his entourage would face restrictions on their movement while in New York this week imposed by the United States. Who were the countries that were involved in Iran's attack on Israel? Iran and its regional allies launched some 350 rockets into Israel on Saturday and Sunday. Over 120 ballistic missiles, 30 cruise missiles, and 170 drones were involved in the attack. There was an interception of nearly all of them, according to the White House and the Israeli military. In addition to Britain, the U.S. and Jordan all worked together to foil the attempt. The Al Maghazi refugee camp in Gaza was the target of an attack that reportedly killed 13 individuals, seven of whom were children, according to hospital sources. American military and trade ships in the Middle East have been the target of over 130 direct strikes in the last six months, resulting in a cost of about $1 billion in munitions, according to the U.S. Navy. The Israeli military claimed responsibility for the deaths of three Hezbollah militants, including two leaders, in airstrikes in southern Lebanon, resulting in cross-border shooting. Centered on the tragic murder of five-year-old Palestinian girl Hind Rajab in Gaza, the United States will be visiting Israel to present fresh evidence that challenges the findings of an Israeli investigation into the kid's death. Issues with the probe, the United Nations Commission of Inquiry into the October 7 assaults in Israel by Hamas has charged that Israel is deliberately hindering its attempts to gather testimony from eyewitnesses and victims. Keep the airdrops coming. Airdrops from the United States military increased the amount of aid sent to Gaza, hitting 25,300 meal equivalents. Airdrops are excellent photo opportunities but a horrible means to deliver aid, according to humanitarian groups. Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sudani of Iraq denied to CNN on Tuesday that Iraq was responsible for launching missiles fired by Iran on Saturday. No missiles or drones were launched from Iraq, al Sudani told CNN's Christian Amanpour in an interview on Tuesday, drawing from military reports received by the country. Our stance is crystal clear we will not tolerate any non state entity using Iraq as a springboard to re enter the conflict. In order to keep Iraq safe and remove it from the fighting field, we have been following the legal procedures, al Sudani stated. Speaking to Amanpour from Washington, D.C., al Sudani had a meeting with U.S. President Joe Biden early Monday. The two heads of state spoke on how critical it is to reduce tensions in the region. Iran attacked Israel over the weekend, prompting the U.S. to impose more sanctions on the Iranian capital. Joe Biden is working on a comprehensive response with friends and partners, including the G7 and bipartisan leaders in Congress, in response to Iran's unprecedented air attack against Israel, according to a statement by National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. Iranian entities supporting the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC, and the Defense Ministry will be subject to additional sanctions in the days ahead, in addition to Iran's missile and drone programs. Soon, our friends and allies will follow suit with their own sanctions, as we expect.
to continue undermining the Iranian regime's disruptive and destabilizing activity, U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said earlier Tuesday, referring to the Biden administration's intention to impose sanctions. During a press conference, she stated, Iran's actions undermine the region's stability and could cause economic spillovers. This includes both recent strikes and attacks by the Houthis in the Red Sea. The administration will keep working through the Department of Defense and U.S. Central Command to further strengthen and expand the successful integration of air and missile defense and early warning systems across the Middle East to further erode the effectiveness of Iran's missile and UAV capabilities, Sullivan added, adding that new sanctions will be one measure among several.